Michael Conlin needs to carry a significantly greater boxing night to Falls Park the following summer as he focuses on a world title battle in West Belfast. The 27-year-old halted Argentinian Diego Alberta Ruiz on Saturday evening, conveying the telling blow halfway through the ninth round subsequent to commanding the session all the way. Presently he needs to twofold the 10,000 group that rushed to Fairlora Fobale on Saturday evening by taking on a prevailing world featherweight champion at one year from now's celebration. Who's to say we can't do it here in the Fairlora next year, he told an observing stadium. They can get it going and get an extra 10,000 in here. We can get 20,000 in here. It would be mind-blowing. So who may it be against? Leo Santa Cruz has held the WBA belt since beating Carl Frampton in January 2017 while Gary Russell Jr. has kept the WBC title for twice the length of that. At that point there's the potential for Conlin to get Belfast vengeance on Josh Warrington, who beat Carl Frampton in December. Or, or shouldn't something be said about a battle against Frampton himself? who would like to be a best on the planet by and by before the following summer, with Oscar Valdez expected to clear the WBO crown to climb to junior lightweight, any of them, smile Conlin. With this crowd, I'll fight anyone. This is only the start. I've got more levels to go and I believe I can beat any of them." Top-ranked CEO Bob Arum sponsored Conlon's arrangement for a 2020 title offer and conceded he wouldn't be against an all-Belfast standoff against Frampton. I'd love it, he revealed to BT Sport. It's a great name but I've got to speak to the trainers. Remember I'm not a puppet master that moves all of these people. They all have a say on who they want to fight. Obviously if we did it, it would be huge. We would have five times the amount of people we had here. Frampton was very disappointing when he fought Warrington. He let Warrington dictate everything. I've been assured that wasn't the real Carl Frampton and he will emerge in Philadelphia next week. We'll see. Carl was a tremendous fighter but against Warrington he wasn't. Let's see if he can turn it round and come back. I don't know. The featherweight division is absolutely incredible. Mick Conlin is right there with them all. He's a work in progress. By next year he can fight anyone in the featherweight division. Conlin devoted Saturday's triumph to the group of the late Kevin Sheehy.